Understanding SIM Cards, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss, the term SIM card. Whether you're using a mobile phone, a tablet, or have heard about it in conversations, SIM cards are an essential part of our daily lives. So, let's dive in and understand what it really means. The term SIM card stands for Subscriber Identity Module Card. It is a small card that's inserted into a mobile phone or smart device. Now, let's break down the words to understand them better. Subscriber. This refers to the person who is using the services of a mobile network. Identity. This is about who you are. In this case, it refers to your unique number or account with the mobile network. Module. This means a part of a system or device. Card. This is a small, rectangular piece of plastic that contains important information. Put together, a SIM card is a small module that helps identify a subscriber to a mobile network. Now that we know what SIM card stands for, let's talk about what it does. A SIM card is crucial for a mobile phone to connect to a mobile network. Here are its main functions. 1. Stores your phone number. Your SIM card keeps your phone number safe. 2. Connects to your network. It helps your phone connect to your mobile network so you can make calls, send texts, and use data. 3. Secures your data. A SIM card also plays a role in securing your calls and texts. In short, without a SIM card, your mobile phone wouldn't be able to perform its basic functions. There are different types of SIM cards based on their sizes. 1. Standard SIM, the oldest and largest type. 2. Micro SIM, smaller than the standard SIM. 3. Nano SIM, the smallest SIM card available right now. It's important to know which type of SIM card your mobile device requires. And there we have it. A comprehensive look at what a SIM card is and why it is so crucial for our mobile devices. I hope this video has helped clear up any confusion and has enriched your English vocabulary. Remember, learning new terms helps in improving your language skills. So, keep practicing, and until next time, happy learning!